if everyone's checked it over. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone from the public to comment? It doesn't look like we have anyone. <coughs> to the approval of the minutes for the August 22nd meeting. You can do one motion if you want for both of those. And then, yeah, the work session also on August 31st that we had. We need an approval for both of those. I'll make a motion for that. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> Moving to our unfinished business, the Marina Marketing Plan to decide what we're going to do, I guess, for 2024, how to move forward with our marketing dollars and advertising and potential to spread the word of the municipal marina. I'll have a glove box full of the pamphlets that I drop at different marinas as I go through the state. So. Oh, okay, cool. It's available, so I'll keep doing that. I'll get some more at some point. <clears throat> yeah. Any ideas? Do we want to go for further advertising or out of state radio, TV, newspapers, stuff like that? We've got plenty of money to spend. <clears throat> There's some ideas that, and, and Katie's away on funeral leave right now for a family member, but she did leave me some notes on marketing. Um, just a couple things that she suggested were. Um, to continue distributing our, our brochures, put them at welcome centers, other marinas, that sort of thing. Um, a lot of these that she's, well, let me just read through the list. Um, promote local events. So when we know the forest festival's happening or bands or you know other things, somehow promoting that so people know that there's something to do when they get to our port and they can maybe include that in the <coughs> Update information on the websites with the pictures, contact info, info, amenities, that sort of thing. And we've already paid for the pictures for that sort of thing. Um, she suggested create a QR code uh, so that we can get customer reviews. So it's easy. They can just click on it and then fill in any comments, you know, uh, on their stay. Um, promoting the freighter traffic. if. If there's a way that we could do that, that's a big draw for people. They love seeing that. Um, continuing to work with the uh, Manistee you know, Tourism Association to set up Google Ads and stuff. When when I read through that, a lot of that, unfortunately, if we had our own Facebook page and voters were following that Facebook page, that would be really cool content to update. Um, now we've kind of consolidated it all to one city Facebook page and we still could do that but I'm not sure voters would be as apt to follow that so maybe there's maybe there's a different different way that we could do that but we, um, we can add different accounts to the social archives oh, yeah. so I'm sure we could you know, with the loopers that came in the this kind of problem was the archive all of a sudden because okay. their phones listen to us or anything you know we're starting to get I'm starting to get you know looper pages you know on feedback on yeah, from agcla yeah yeah and once again we'll bring it up at the dakwa which is all about boating and it's almost like a facebook for boat do we know how much was attributed to dakwa in terms of uh, deal at least 26 26 or 28 26, 28 leads 20 26 leads okay. starting beginning from um may May 23rd, all the way to 922. Great. So, Katie Kelly. summarized that too, and <clears throat> okay. the numbers are exactly yeah, what you had. The last time, yeah. She said that um, at a glance, from May through September 23, we had a total of 26 leads um, that were, those were inquiries or responses, and we received eight reservations total. Um, she said the average. Uh, response time was five hours and there was a 96% reply rate. And I think that goes back to the first one or two that. Yeah, the first month and that, yeah, that didn't get answered. Picked up, yeah. yeah. 
-hmm. So it's it was greatly approved since then. Well, and DACWA also is willing to work with us, even if Haiti is absolutely against doing the reservation through DACWA, we can still do advertisement. We can still, they are mm -hmm. willing to work with us in featuring pictures and in off seasons, say, come for two nights, third night is half off or free. It's still a good marketing because when George and I were down there, I would say out of the handful that we spoke to, everyone did go to DACWA, but they had to go through DNR right. or to reserve. Yeah, and, and so it's a good marketing. Mm -hmm. So I, well I, I, I agree with you. And, and her comment was, or her concern is simply the dual reservation. reservation. I know. But if we use it as a marketing tool for and us. And that was said, I, t I shared with them her, Katie's concerns that we had talked mm -hmm. about. And they said we would be more than happy to work with that and answer any concerns. So I think Katie would get her response or answer yeah. in that. They're very, very flexible. Again, it's strictly boating, so, you know, and I think the other concern was why doesn't other uh, marinas in the Michigan area have it? Well, she said it's, somebody has to start trailblazing. Leland has it, we do it, it's gonna be a mm -hmm. catch on. And loopers, when we spoke to the loopers, they also went on DACWA, because we specifically were curious on really how much DACWA is used, so. Great. It's not that expensive. We do have a marketing. I don't know. Are we willing to just do it for a year? And if Katie is totally against it by the end of the year and has good feedback, why? Then I say, then we go to a different direction. Just advising, we gotta do something because we're not gonna be an enterprise unless mm -hmm. we, I think the rack cards are great, but again, it's hit or miss. And boaters are starting now to plan their trips for next spring. Can Doing it now. So okay. this is our window. Yeah, like we talked about at one of the prior meetings, you know, the Chicago to Mac boats. Right. You know, for, for, a sea, for several seasons, we were looked at as kind of like, okay, we're the Red X, the Old right. Manistee. Right. Exactly. That is flipped around. Yeah. I'd love to see Dock or somehow, somehow get information down to that, you know, pinpointed to that area to where Hey, think that. about Manistee. Oh yeah, look at our great McNeese facility. Look at our look at the yep. amenities mm -hmm. there. Right. These carts, you got the the restaurants, you got the outsider. Right. Expanding the markets. Exactly. Since we're not meeting again till April or January, do we need to have a special meeting or maybe a committee to work on it? Marketing or <coughs> so we can move forward at a certain date so we just don't let it drag on or I don't know how we'll So I, I printed out Actually, I had the finance director help me print out um, our current budget, and we've got $5,500 budgeted for marketing and promotion. Um, and it doesn't look like anything's been coded to that yet this year. So that's, that's the dollars that we've got to work with. <clears throat> and Kelly mentioned she can add an account to the Facebook for, for the marina, so. Well, we, could, we can connect our, the issue was the archiving of it. And so that's why we went to one. <clears throat> and then consistency and all of those things. But if that is something that people feel strongly about, we can connect multiple, you know, we still have available accounts that we can put on there without it being extra cost, where we could archive, it could be caught, you know, and captured through the archive to, to remain FOIA compliant. I, I'm, not, I'm not very, I wouldn't call myself tech savvy. Um, but to me, if I, was, if I was a boater and I was traveling and there were a, a number of harbors that were options to me, you know, so I'm, I'm heading from Grand Traverse Bay. I wonder what's happening. Now let's plan the next couple days. Do we stop in Leland? Do we skip to Frankfurt? Do we go to Manistee, Lennington? Mm -hmm. where, where are we gonna be the next two days? Well, if I knew there was a wine festival going on in Leland, and I can get in, I'm pulling in to have some fun. You know, or if there's right. a parade in Manistee, maybe instead of skipping to Lennington, we pull in. So I think, I think that's a great idea is having some of those current events. And there's a lot of entertainment going on in Manistee right now. If we could get the list together to tie it in with that when we advertise. Yeah. And, and so maybe that's, maybe Manistee Tourism is already doing that. Maybe, you know, I don't want to duplicate things, but 
there needs to be like, and I think I think Sammy's talked about that kind of creating that local list of events of what's happening because you know Chapels may have this yeah. and the or just uh, how they have their or music. Have this right. and this one's got this and right. night an open and house North and Channel. yeah North Channel has live music and yeah. Lindsay's got the block party right. in town and. Yep. Those are all things that, if I'm traveling, those are things I, I would love to know about, right? And I believe we can do that on DACWA. If we get Even the Even without the reservation, you could do that because boaters are looking and that would be like a one-stop shopping. So, so George, I think to answer your question, I, I think it would be great to have like a marketing committee and yeah, working through how best and how, how having, what would be most advantageous on how to spend those money and where and you know bring Sammy into that discussion and um, we've got a lot of new imagery that we should be able to use and capitalize on um, and then learn from it and grow it and well and I think to remind I'm sorry to remind too I know when we were down there uh, and Katie had mentioned it's sometimes difficult because voters are coming in and they're asking what's to do I think we have to remind ourselves too. We have shuffleboard, we have the disc golf, we have other things that are there, even if there's not a big beer fest or a wine fest or you know a street party, there's so much more to still do. I mean, even the Vogue Theater, you know, there's so much that we need to say, hey, you know, take a walk and do this and you know, or check this out. So I think we tend to forget all the other. So when you're things. traveling to a port, Mm -hmm. How what what's what's the avenue that you use to figure out what's happening in this port today? I think the key is is when you're going, it's the accessibility to um, get somewhere without having to call an Uber or a taxi. Okay. So I, I think it's the idea of having the location of your vessel and wherever you're at as far as getting to the showers or going you it's a safe environment it's clean it's it, it looks like it's friendly and i think we we nail it with our river walk and yeah. we nail it with the convenience of everything the boaters are on the water yeah they're ready to get off sure. they're ready to get off does it mean they want to be busy not all the time but a lot of them travel with pets. They they want to know where the dog run is. You know, it's those kind of things. Sure. And is it easy? Now we have the golf cart uh, rental. Sure. Awesome. Yeah. Now you can throw your crap in and go so, to the beach and do the fire. Yeah, business. so there's an incredible story there, right? So if you come into Manistee Harbor, you can walk down the river walk and you can get to the beach. And the yes. beach has all these things. Yes. You can go block away you can run a golf cart and you can get anywhere you can get downtown is right there restaurants <clears> are right there there we have thursday concerts on the riverwalk so yeah so I'm, I'm saying like we need to tell that story right. we need to we need to put it somewhere that a boater's going to look and find it right and so where where is that is it on the website is it on a facebook page is it I would say hit whatever you can, and then it's it's important that we keep updating it current. too. Yes, yes. Current, because there's nothing worse than they're coming in, they're excited about. Oh, I missed it by two days. Oh, it was. Oh, the last post was 2018. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, the painted lady is so famous around here for people visiting. I mean, now having the golf carts, they can go right over there. <laughs> it's just, we're just so Saturday's lucky. Saturday's lucky. You know, at the county summit, I did talk to Z's card and Josh, our police chief, had an idea to put one at the marina, maybe, yeah. and maybe the only maybe you could have event they could have it to market, you know, running their golf cart to go to. They brought in cars different events. I, I talked to Z's, and actually during the out there the outhouse, the open house. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> well, bathrooms are right there. Yeah, no, so were they were they interested so they, in dropping them off? Did they? they and they, and they dropped those off, and they'd be more willing to. You know, they got a QR code on, which I'm a fan of yeah. QR codes. Yeah. QR, they're, they're more willing to run one over. Right. Yeah. So maybe a partnership with them, and they could have an event calendar for the right. week on there, and that would be helping sell, you know, Absolutely. the rental. But. And they're, they have a huge Facebook following, and 
you know, they, they, they know how to market. And I'm sure with a partnership like that, they could easily incorporate some boats. I mean, that's- We should get our name out there yeah. through their marketing. Yep. We'll be connected to that. So Wes, you have a connection with them that uh, maybe put a bug in their ear about? Oh yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, certainly. So it, it seems like we need to figure out where, where that where to house that there should be one thing and then you could link it around right. and in it because I've heard some scuttlebutt that that's going to get created but I don't know who so if it's Manistee tourism to me that seems like a perfect location and they could you know, put a tab or something for marinas but but then we need to make sure people can get to that and find that and uh, but yeah, I think Manistee Tourism, we should talk to Sammy, see what, there should be one spot for events. and Sure. You know. And then, once we have that in place, then how do we get that word out to the boaters with rack cards or whatever that, Newspaper you know, ad. come to Manistee and, and we got a lot going on, yeah. we got a lot of fun <clears throat> things, yeah. whether you want to relax or you want to party or just sunbathe or whatever. Um, here's where you find all that information out. I mean, seriously, I have never been to a marina uh, that the convenience that we have. I mean, it's it's kind of gives you chills to think what we have. And I think now with the the updating of the marina and just the river walk, how it's just gone from zero to a uh, ten. It's we got to jump on this, and, and, and it has to happen sooner than later <coughs> because, again, as a boater, we're starting to look now to plan out our trips out. Yeah. And, of course, it, it fluctuates because of weather. Weather, sure. And winds and everything else. But I think we ran into quite a few that always bypassed Manistee and went on to Lunnington, and uh, just nothing but positive stuff came from it. What's your... I saw you shake your head, but we actually talked about the geography of the shoreline, mm -hmm. and as a boater, that's a natural thing yeah. to do. Yeah. That that hurts us, so we yeah. have to draw them. No, yeah. no, I agree. Because otherwise, it's what did Mark Sanson say? Five, six miles mm -hmm. out of your way yep. to yeah. come in. To come in. Just just the way the shoreline is shaped. Right. Well, it depends what direction you're going to. True. Well, I, Sable Point to yeah. Point Betsy is a straight line, and we're way in. Yeah. We're worth it. I, That's the point. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think we need to put a sign out. We're worth it in an arrow going this way. Uh, aircraft banners. <laughs> well, the whole Ludington thing. Let's get the Ludington. airport. Well, I, there, I'm hearing tremendously positive things about the facility and about all aspects of it and about what's happening in the community. And the community from all angles has way more to offer now than it ever has. Um, I mean, we're, we're starting to become very vibrant. Um, you know, Kendra just had somebody in her Christmas store that said, we, we came up for, to visit your marina and we're blown away. And then we found out that there's other things going on. And so we came back shopping after yep. we Good. winterized the boat. Good. And then we found out that sleigh bells coming up and we'll be back in December. And right. you know, those things are what you build. So then we'll have to decide, do we do a committee or wait till January at our next meeting and really knock it out and decide? Or in between them work on something? You have quotes for DACWA and I guess you'd have to bring that back for approval. I mean, I would like to just hear again from them what they could, have them sell it again to us and, and see exactly what we're getting or what we're getting from them and maybe can't from the other avenues as such as a rack card or the visitation bureau, whatever. I think we've just gotta be open to everything and then lay out all of our concerns and then base it off of I that. know a couple places we put rack cards, we went in and we had to restock it because they were completely gone. Hmm. That's a good sign. So whether somebody <coughs> grabbed them all and Winged them or <laughs> one at a time and said, hey, this is great, we gotta go there. It's hard to say, but they were gone. So. You know, even, I've served on a lot of the committees, but even like the uh, the sleigh bell, mm -hmm. they, they try to go away from the hand brochures. Yeah. And what they found out after a few years, 
people still use them. We do. They stick them in their bag, they put them in their purse. There's QR codes, so it takes you to the website that lists all the events. So the brochure has been reduced down, but that's still an important. When we're traveling, piece. they stop at a rest stop. They still walk up to the rack and mm -hmm. look at them. Yeah. I think that uh, QR codes on any advertising that we do, are, it's great. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's great. something that's caught on. People say, oh, QR code. And click it. Yeah. And what well, you talked about, people come up to the marina at Haven, then we come back for sleigh ball. You know, we should attach you know, a, a marina bug to any kind of sleigh bug. You know, sure. The, whether it be a brochure with, with QR code or even just advertising online. So people are like, oh yeah, hey, they're marina. So we can Absolutely. get a hook in for that. Yeah, we had a great time. Boy, yep. should, we should go back. Oh, with the imagine road. the sun. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or just if it's not an event, just what we have to offer. Just yeah. anything. Even <clears> the, you know, they may not even know that they're close by to, to Crystal Mountain. You know, there's so much. The Ramp that, Trail. Established here can I think Sammy's done a lot with those different choose your adventure. Maybe even she could put a little kiosk like she did at the college at the marina. So, so we, put, we formed a yeah, what, committee. Is that when you would invite her to? Yeah, I would invite her to do a father. work session. Yeah. yeah. Or just do a work session of all of us. And invite her. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that'd be, that'd be a good idea. Just Before the night <coughs> yeah, maybe a work so. session? What date do you think? What's uh, I don't know. December, she, she November? Did a bunch of stuff for us okay. early last spring, if yeah. you remember. And but now we've got we've got some budget and money to participate, yeah. right? So I, I think that would be a very good partnership. Okay. Early December yes. before our January meeting. Any dates come to mind? Just the uh, number seven. Let's get. Yeah. No. Is that your birthday? Oh. Pearl Harbor. Oh, right. I, any day come to mind, sorry. I think the third would, is a Monday, so the, no? Third's a, fourth's a Monday. Fourth's a Monday. Maybe the fifth? December 5th? That would be right after a sleigh bell. Right after sleigh bell. <clears throat> You want to stick with the one o'clock time? Does that work for everybody? Probably. One o'clock, yeah. Okay. Do you want me to contact DACWA and have them present again or answer mm -hmm. any questions if we don't, whatever we can list a bunch of, bunch of our questions? Sure. Get pricing again and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if they have different plans. A, a, <clears throat> again, I want to say if we talk to five people. <clears throat> Five out of five started out with DACWA. They had no problem basically going then to do reservation, but they did go to DACWA. And I know as a voter, that's, mm -hmm. it's the easiest. <clears throat> and then- Fifth, 1 p.m. Will- I, I can confirm that on the calendar. Is it Sandy? Sammy. Sammy. I can reach out to Sammy. Sammy. Do you want to do, okay. And see yeah. if she's available to come. I can do that. Good. In the meantime, um, Wes, about the um, golf cart, mm -hmm. see if they're willing to go on hold. And the outsiders kind of trying to get people to explore Manistee, and they're right there too. That might be a that that kiosk you mentioned down at the college. Mm -hmm. That's wasn't that like a self-guided tour kind of thing? Yep. Like so if you were interested in hiking, they'd show you all the different places. Um, yeah, I think skiing, all those different activities. So I don't know if she can do one more centrally focused, but or maybe just people are interested in or even learning a more. poster that says so it's only a block away. Marina, they could do it and see what's available in the city. Yeah, so, so a good place to check out the right on Maple, the entrance to the college. Yeah. Um, and that what is that south southwest corner? They converted that that vestibule and uh, they put a kiosk okay. so they let the yeah. Manistee Tourism Authority put something up there but they have yeah I think color-coded four different choose your own adventure and all the different options in the area so yeah you can check that out anytime but even if they she couldn't replicate that at the marina just yeah, something a little area. that says a block away right go and there's a really neat interactive right. you know 
and really they can go right up the steps there and yeah. and access it. That's true. Big map out, and they were doing the house tour. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah. Again, who has that too? You know, it's right. crazy. Okay. So we've got a work session coming up then in December. Perfect. The marina season or the reports, the marina season update, and maybe the harbor master report would be the same, or would that well, I, together? Yeah, I, I think we had a extremely successful season um now i'm not able to break our fiscal year straddles the season so there's up to july or june 30th and then after july 1st <laughs> but um but we had higher a higher amount of seasonals this year um, we had a lot of boat traffic i mean just visually you could yep. see that the marina had, was substantially full most of the season um, I reported in our staff meeting this morning that after the marina closed, um, she had an, another half dozen boats that came in, and, anyway. that. and then they were they were harbored there for many days because of the wind. Yep. yep. And she was able to give them access to the restrooms, um, yes. and we kept power on and water, and um, and they all paid. And then <clears throat> she just told me Friday that she still had boats contacting her and asking if she could come in and they were giving her you know ahead of time and um, so I, very good um, <clears throat> so year to date would be from July 1st till now um, we have brought in 50% of our revenues for the year and we've expended about 48% of our expenditures for the year so I think we're um, I think those numbers are a little deceiving because keep in mind all of our seasonal money comes in between now and may so um and she's expecting over 10 this year so that's a big chunk of revenue that's going to come in um that that isn't it isn't uh, accounted for here and then with our expenses at half half the half of our uh, annual expenditure um we st we really have may and june where we've got to staff it and right. really incur any true expenses. So I think it's I think it's trending very positively. Mm -hmm. Good. On launch revenue. Yep. yep. Okay. Um, so uh, echoing what uh, Jeff said. So this does have the entire boating season. So preseason through. October, so it's not going to have. Obviously, October's not finished yet. It, they closed the ramp, so so that is. Oh, that is closed. Okay, my apologies. So we had 424 seasonal permits with the with the ramp, and then daily two with a total of 21,200 for revenue for that daily permits. 2,044 with a revenue of 20,440. So that's for daily. That's the most revenue we've ever received. It looks like in 2012 we had more total daily permits, but so a good good year for the boat launch. It looks like, which I think is tremendous because I, I fuel prices are high. I mean, mm -hmm. the the economy is not doing great, but people are still coming. People are spending here. money. Yeah, growth all over. <clears throat> Where the money's coming from? Credit cards, <laughs> equity loans, something. As long as it keeps coming our way, we'll be happy. Uh, then we go to new business, our annual report to the city council on Wednesday, November 8th. I'm not sure how or what that works. I've seen a few. So typically you and Jeff would work on that together and then you would present. Um, and I, I mean, I can send you past years if you'd like to. Yeah. Okay, I'll send you with that today. That. It's, really, it, it's just a highlight of the things that we've been working on. Through the year from January. Yeah, so we're working on marketing. We're trying to get more, drive more voter traffic. We're trying to get more awareness of the community. Uh, we work with the volunteer groups to, you know, do all that. We had the open house. I, I think it's a lot of positive things. Yeah. And some of our numbers are starting to reflect that. So I'll put it together in email too and see what you think. 
Yeah, and then I can, if you want to do it as a PowerPoint, you know, we can put yeah. all those in the slides. And oh, that would work. Yeah, that'd be interesting. And you just kind of snap through them, and yeah. um, we can go into some of those, pull out some pictures that we have. And yeah, that sounds interesting. It's about three weeks, so plenty of time. And then we need to set our meeting dates for 2024, which are on the back of our agenda sheets. Do we have to approve that then? Or? We do, because then the clerk shall put together the yearly calendar and then post those for the Open Meetings Act. Do a motion to approve it then? Or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll make a motion to approve it. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> All right. No more public comments. None. Committee comments by commissioners. I forgot in the beginning. I wanted to welcome Wayne Johnson, our newest yes. member. Yes, thank, thank you. you. All met, but anyway, it's glad to see you. Glad to have you here. And uh, I think we're moving in the right direction. Yeah, I think the, the open house was great. Great to see Wayne there in his first official capacity. Yeah. Uh, attended well. I think everything went well. The hot dog guy. Perfect. Yeah, we got lucky. So. I thought it was really well attended. Yeah. There was a I mix. Was presently yeah. surprised. Yeah. A mix. Voters, a couple business people, politicians, city council members, a little bit of everything. Coast Guard. Coast Guard. Coast yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah. They, and they never responded, but they came. Yeah. <laughs> That's what matters. That's all right. The snacks and yeah. something got them here. The a lot of people engaged with them. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people were talking to them. They got to, a lot of PR out of that. Being, but, being a newbie, I was wondering if maybe the next one that we have, we might have name tags for the commissioners. Sure. Oh, so that yeah. sure. people know who they're approaching. And it's true. Yeah. Bad. You know, I it was interesting to me, and, and obviously I didn't stay the entire time, but. Um, but I did talk to quite a few people that had never been inside that no. and really were like, wow, this is really cool. And right. So I, I think you were kind of suggesting that maybe we do this every year. I think we should. I would agree. I, maybe towards not, it doesn't even have to be related as an open house, but it, obviously then people know anybody can come, but just to share the facility because you might bring a, fr a friend talks about it, and the other friend is like, oh, I'll go this time, yeah. type of thing. So and make it somewhat uh, like this last one in connection with something yeah, else that's do, going right? on. Close yeah, like we had the uh, yeah. lock party that night. Right. Yeah. And even though with the upstairs being rented that day, um, it tried to still share. There is a room upstairs. It's a rental. It's, mm -hmm. you know, all seasons. Yeah. So... Again, it's a good PR. Well, maybe, maybe we pick a date early in the year of yeah. when we're going to do this, and then we can kind of block that out. We can plan it. We can put it in our in our marketing stuff and see what's going on. And it might even as be late as September voters. again, or we put that together pretty quick, and we just thought September was still uh, good. Yeah. Oh, and I think oh, oh, Nakama Marine does a, I think they, what they is actually calling like voter appreciation. Right. Event. And that's what we really could term this as too. I mean, yeah. mm -hmm. open house you know, was the first one, but then a voter appreciation, and end of season voter appreciation, end of mm -hmm. season marina appreciation day or something. Um, fire the grill up and get yeah. the hot dog guy out there if you want to. Or Before Labor Day, after Labor Day, when we still got a well, more. Because I thought it would be kind of along, along those lines to, to make sure we include our seasonal. Like this yes. is their home port. Yes. This is their facility. Yeah. <clears throat> we want them to be a part of it and kind of add to that whole experience a little bit. And if if they're there, then yeah. if we're serving them right. Then they ought to be great ambassadors to us to everybody else that comes to visit. And can answer a lot of questions too. Yeah. That we may not be able to, but they can because they're there. Every, sure. Whenever, every day, or whatever mm -hmm. it is. So. Like a mid July day. I mean, you got July Fourth is. The big holiday. You know, maybe it's early July because usually this year was different. This year we got a lot of activity in June that that was more than I'm I've that I'm used to seeing. Um, normally we get some fishermen in May. We get a few few people out on the lake, and then after the Fourth of July, then people start to travel. And, but um, 
Yeah, it could be early, mid-July. Yeah, even... And in between July 4th and Labor Day. Yeah. Fill up the... Even the end of July. End of July, yeah. Yeah, first, sure. I mean, even the first weekend in August. The first weekend in August. between there. Yeah. If we can find something in town that's going on or in the area. Yeah, yeah. that means that if, if we found an, something agree. else that we can <laughs> meet it with and... Well, at our work session then, if she, Sammy's here, maybe she's got uh, some dates or times of things going on. Bill, has uh, TJ's suggested if they're going to do more of those events next year? I think they probably would. I haven't heard, but you know that was obviously the last one for this year. Yeah, but yeah, maybe because yeah, I, so. I think she did one in July and then one in yeah. September, right? Yeah. So, and then I think the DDA is looking at. You know some ways to help facilitate other of the social district permit holders to do events too so there might be more to come i know the district expanded and um now we have the brewery third life i think they're interested so at some point there'll be more of those yeah and there's a distillery that's Anyone else? Anything else? We'll call to adjourn then. I second. <laughs> good, good, good. Thank you, everyone.